Hey guys, Chris Gura here, Drummer's Guide to Gear, DG2G.com. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Evans G14 coated batter heads. At the end of this review, we're going to have a demo part where we have a kit set up with these batter heads being played so you can check it out. It's all done with the Zoom Q8 audio recorder. I recommend you listen to it with headphones or through good speakers to get the full effect so you can clearly hear how these drums sound with this batter head. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this batter head. This is a single ply coated batter head. Now the nice thing about this drum head is the thickness. It's a 14 mil film single ply head again. So you get the durability of a dual ply. A lot of the dual ply heads like the uh, EC2s I think are two, film, two plies of 7 mil film. So it comes out to a total of 14 mil. Well, these heads are single ply, so you get that nice big open sound, but they're it's 14 mil thick, so you get the durability of a dual ply head. Myself, I'm a very heavy hitter. I grew up playing heavy metal and in metal bands, so I always lay into my drums, and I always liked the way single ply heads sounded, but the durability just wasn't there, so I always used a dual ply head. Now, in the recording, you'll hear these drums. We paired this G14 up with the Evans Rezo 7. We've already done a review on those, so you can check that out. It's on the website as well. But this combination of these two heads, I absolutely loved it. The kit that we used this on was a maple kit. The tom sizes were a 10-inch rack, 12-inch rack, and a 14-inch floor tom. And the tone I got out of this kit was just, I love it, love it, love it. This this combination of heads is, is really great on this maple kit. Again, it gives you a nice, big, warm, big, open sound. And again, me being a heavy hitter, I haven't had any problems. I've had these heads on this kit for a couple of months. They still sound great. They still got plenty of life. And I didn't have to worry about the durability issue with the single ply head because of the thickness. Now, if you're a heavy hitter, I would recommend talking to some other guys who have maybe used this head. And if you want to give it a go, I, I would recommend it because you get a nice, warm, big, open sound, but you don't have to sacrifice the durability like with most single ply heads. Most single ply heads are probably maybe 10 mil thick. Again, this one's a 14 mil thick. I have used the G14 clear heads and it is completely different. It's almost a wetter type of sound and I would say the coated for me gave it more of a um, kind of like a vintage, super warm sound, and the clears were a little bit more modern of a sound. Again, I used the Rezo 7 with the clears as well. And I, I, I like them both, depending on your application. Like I said, if you want that more modern kind of fat sound, I would probably go with the clears. But if you're looking for a little bit warmer, kind of a vintage type of sound, I would go with the coated. So I highly recommend them, especially if you've liked single ply heads, but you're always worried about the durability. These things rock. They're, they're great heads. They sound great. The durability's there. So check them out. If you need any more info on them, you can go to Evans and uh, to their website, and they have some more info. And ask around. Ask guys who have played them. I bet everyone who has played them will probably recommend them to you. Until next time, guys, keep drumming.